Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to build a custom Markdown previewer with uh, HTML and JavaScript. Basically, the idea behind it is we want to create a type feedback loop where uh, you can type in some HTML right here and you will see it show up right here just like in JSBin. So let me get started and we will create a new directory. We'll just call it Markdown Viewer. Change directory inside of there. And we'll open it with Sublime Text. Cool. Uh, I want to go ahead and touch a index.html file. And I'm also going to touch a script.js file. Or just we'll just do index.js. Cool. And uh, what I'd like to do is open this up. I want to open it with Chrome. Cool. So that's what we're going to look at. So now let's get to the meat and bones of this. Build out a little skeleton here. HTML5, we'll say Markdown Free Viewer. Again, this is going to be pretty bare bones. Uh, we'll add a little bit of CSS. Let me just do styles.css. Cool. And let's go ahead and put in our style sheet, styles.css. And we also want to put in uh, the index.js script. So say index.js. And I want to write a little bit of code in here. So I'm just going to say um, window.onload. And all I want to do inside of here is just make sure we've loaded. DOM has loaded. Okay, cool. So let's make sure this works. Let me inspect this real quick. DOM has loaded. Cool. So now we can execute our code in here. And all right, so I want to build out two containers. This will be the container, or rather the HTML container. Inside of here, we're going to have a text area. Okay. And here, we are going to have a div with a class of uh, results, right? So let's look at this, and we, should, we shouldn't have anything yet but a text area. So let me go in here, write a rule for HTML container. It's going to have a width of 400 pixels, a height of 600 pixels, a border of 2 pixels solid red. Let's make sure that looks all right. Okay, cool. And let me grab my text area. So I will say width is 100%, resize is none. Sure that looks good. We'll do overflow hidden on this container. Cool. And we'll give this a height of 100% as well. Or sorry, if not, I mean on the text area. Height of 100%. There we go. So that's filling up that whole area. Um, and I'll just put a very simple uh, H1 here. Basically just saying HTML. Cool, so that's our HTML and results. It'll be a very similar thing. Let me change this out here. We'll do we'll make it width of 250 instead. Or let's do 300. Okay, so we got 300 right there. And uh, next thing that I would like to do, I'd also want to create a button. And you can do this many different ways. And this is just going to be compile. HTML. Um, and then what I want to do uh, also is my results container right here. So I'm going to say dot results. I'm going to give this the same thing, same properties. So I guess I can want to give it the same. Yeah, we'll just give it the same thing. So we'll do dot results. Okay, and we need to change one more thing. We'll do Display my block. Make sure these are side by side. Cool. And um, let me think where is this button? We can do. So the button is after that. Compile. And maybe we'll do this actually. We'll put it right after the text area. Okay. And let me make sure. Let me find out where it went. Button. Okay, it's there, but it is hiding because, yeah, overflow hidden. 
So let me do this. We'll do give us a height. Yeah, I think I know what's happening. 600 button display. Inline block. Height 30 pixel width 40 pixels. And why is it not showing? Oh, I guess because it's yeah, it's overflowing there. Okay, let me just yeah, I'll just get rid of the overflow hidden for now. All right, let me go back in here. Change that. Go back here. And let's think what else is wrong with this. And I need to do, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna put on the body itself. Display, flux, justify, content, center. Cool. Um, and what else do I need to do? I want to do, actually I want to justify content, space around. And then put that in there. Okay, HTML. And then what else do I want to do? I'm going to take off that border. HTML. Cool, that's fine. And then we'll just put results right here. Return results. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is uh, basically we're going to listen to, or we're just going to compile this. So let's try this out. So we can say const compile markup. Very simple function. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, so we're going to say const uh, markup equals document.query selector text area dot value. And what we want to do here is uh, basically output this here. So we can say, first let's make sure we got the markup. So what we can do is we can grab the button, const button document dot query selector button. And we can say button dot add event listener click um, compile markup false. Let's make sure we got got this working. So I inspect this and what is it telling me? I expect a token for content compile markup on my bed. Okay, cool. So let's try this out. Console. So we click this. Let's look at what we get from markup. So we get empty. Now we can say da, 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 da. And why is it not giving it to me? Let me think. Compile markup, document dot query selector, text area dot value. Mm. Okay, maybe because I'm grabbing it after. Do, do, do. Okay, so let me grab that. Okay, let's try this again. Bring that back up. Here's the time me when I expect a token. Okay, what the heck did I do on that? Okay. Okay, so let's come back in here. What? Constant markup. Okay. Markup is not defined. Compile markup. Okay. Compile markup. Alright, cool. And compile markup is not defined. It is defined in. Markup is a function. Oh, all right. All right, cool. So uh, let's look at this now. Here we go. Markup is not defined. Ah, okay. Let's just do it in here then. 
So, because I, I deleted it, it's markup, document.query selector, text area, value, it's log markup. And go back in here one more time. Bring up the console. There we go. And we got it. Got the value. Cool. So, uh, now that we have this value, what I want to do is actually go ahead and again, we're assuming some clean input here. We're not going to do a lot of validation, but what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, all we want to do is say, we want to grab results container, const results container, rules document dot query selector the results. And uh, what I want to do is I want to say results dot enter HTML plus or equal to markup. So let's try this out. So we can say div hello world div and we're gonna compile our HTML. And we already got an error. Let's see what our error is this time. Results is not defined. Uh, results container. Okay. So try again. Div. So we got a div here. Hello world. Div. Let's compile our HTML. And we got hello world right there. Cool. And we can actually see we got a div with hello world. Um, we can keep adding it on here. You can see it in real time. And let me go here and uh, actually want to do the results. Order two pips solid green. Okay. So here we go. Results again. And here we go. We got H1. Welcome to the markup viewer. H1. We click it. There we go, welcome to the markup viewer, we got our H1. So that's it guys for our little simple markup viewer. Um, I think next time we could work on doing the CSS, maybe the JavaScript as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.